Hi everyone, Silver Joker here. Okay, so next year I'm going to be adding some more ounces of silver to my monthly budget. And I'm going to explain to you guys in this video why I feel like that's an important thing to do, especially now. Also, since you guys ask, in just about every video that I post, I get the same question. How I feel about physical gold and why don't I stack it? And so in this video, I'll tell you guys my feelings on physical gold. So if you're interested in any of that, stick around. Also, if you like what you see and you want to support my channel, then the best and easiest way you can do that is by simply smashing that like button. By doing so, you show YouTube that you enjoy the content that I produce. So YouTube puts my video where more people can see it. It's a small task for you, but it means so much to my channel. And if you want to see more videos like this one, simply subscribe, ring that bell, and you'll be notified as soon as I put out another video. Thank you. All right, so why am I going to increase my silver buying in 2022? You guys know that all the stuff that's happening now, the huge premiums that we're paying, and when I say huge, I mean huge premiums that we're paying as it relates to spot price. And all of this really, if you trace it back to when this whole thing started with restrictions and all this other kind of stuff, silver was very hard to find. Uh, there were some supply issues, some, some uh, mining issues with getting raw metals to refineries and getting products out that we could buy and put in our stacks and so there were all those issues going on because of the global health things i'm avoiding saying what they are on purpose youtube tends to not like us using certain phrases <laughs> so you guys know what i'm talking about i don't see those things as being over with yet as far as restrictions go i believe that there's a possibility that in the next year, in the very nearest future, that we may see similar things like we saw at the beginning of 2020, the end of 2019, 2020. We might see similar things going on with restrictions. And so I got a feeling that we haven't quite recovered as far as the silver being available to us. And I'm not saying that there's a silver shortage. I just believe there's more people that are not so comfortable with the dollar that want something with a little more tangible value, put it that way, something that they can own and touch and feel and put away personally. I think people are demanding more precious metals and silver being the most affordable, people are really buying a lot of that. So that's where the scarcity comes from. So I have a feeling based on the things that I see going on around me, there may be similar scarcity or similar shortages when it comes to being able to purchase physical silver. That the demand may increase and with possible restrictions coming in the future, I got a feeling that now is the time to really put that silver in my stack. And so that's what I'm gonna do. And um, you know, like I said, you do what you feel is best for you. Uh, don't hurt yourself. You know, you got a budget, stick to that budget. I'm definitely going to do that. Put a little more silver in my stack because I got a feeling that the possibility exists for silver to be scarce again. Uh, but if we do have supply interruptions or more restrictions that are very restrictive and silver becomes scarce or harder to get, then I want to be prepared. There was a time when silver was very hard to get. Physical bullion was extremely hard to get. It was out everywhere. And so I think the possibility exists for that to happen again. I want to be prepared for them. And no matter what the cause, I want to be prepared for the result. So I will be increasing my silver intake by a few ounces a month added to what I already budget for. And so that's my plan for 2022. Okay, so I get a lot of comments all the time where people ask me how I feel about gold. Um, gold to me is kind of neutral. It's neither here nor there, as far as I'm concerned. It's very beneficial, I believe. For me, silver will do exactly what gold will do in the long term. My goal is not to have my silver stack work for me or my metals work for me. My motivation is to have my stack be a hedge against future inflation, to be uh, there for me in times of emergency or crisis, and to just be a benefit for me when I retire. And that's really what my stack is all about. Because really, if you think about it, and I know I will get 
uh, some pushback from some people that that buy the ratio. But if you don't know what the gold silver ratio is, is how many ounces of silver to every one ounce of gold. I think right now it's right around 75, 80 ounces of silver for every ounce of gold. And some people do that. They, they buy on that ratio. As far as I'm concerned, if I have 80 ounces of silver in my stack, I have the equivalent of an ounce of gold. So why do I need that ounce of gold? And like I said, I don't buy precious metals to uh, have a, a cash flow because my stack is not designed for that. My, my stack is designed to just be a safe place. In other words, my, the value of my silver can't be inflated away, can't be printed away. You can't print silver. Silver comes from the earth, so there's a finite amount of it. So, you know, they can't print silver to the moon like they can the dollar bill. So you can't print away the value of silver like you do with the dollar. Silver is defense. It's not offense. It's meant to be defensive. Your offense is you earning your wealth. Silver is how you keep it, how you maintain it, how you protect it. And so that's why I stack silver. So gold to me is not a bad thing. It's just not that important to my stack for what my, what the purpose of my stack is for. And I hope that makes sense. So yeah, stack as much gold as you like, or you can afford, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. But for my stack, this silver is better. It's affordable and it does exactly what gold will do in the future for me. All right, so <laughs> anyway, but I think you understand what I mean. And like I said, and I just wanna be clear about this, so I wanna reiterate, my videos are not meant to be advice for you to follow. It's just meant to be an example for you to be motivated by to do your own research. Maybe I say something in my video that may spark some motivation in you or some curiosity in you to do your own research and maybe use some of the things that have worked for me in your stack, in your budget, in your plans and strategies for building your stack. Anyway, I'll be going down talking to my local coin store owner here in the, in the next day or two, and I'll bring that to you guys. And of course, I'm going to continue to show you some of the pickups throughout the year. So anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Keep stacking. Peace.